Hello everybody, Dark Phoenix Ninja 92 here, and welcome back. Let's play Skyrim. Now you'll notice we're in a different place, and there's a dead orc lying over there. Well, the dead orc is just some nut job who decided to charge out and attack me right as I loaded into the game. So yeah. And we're in a different place for one very simple reason. The trip between my between Falkreath and this bandit camp we are currently at. <clears throat> the mine where the Jarl wanted us to clean up his little deal with them. The trip there was rather long and more than a little bit boring. I bit I so I decided to just cut it out. And here we are now. So, last time around... We made it to Falkreath after the game crashed on me once, so I had to make the journey twice. But we made it to Falkreath and had a little chat with the Jarl, who's offering to let us buy some land and to build our own house, provided we do him a little favor and clear out this bandit and mine. And that is what we are going to do. We don't particularly care for the tower. And I think I'm leaving the horses out here. Because we will undoubtedly get attacked on the way. Ulfric has made it clear in his mind to refuse his... And I'm going to dump a little bit of our crap on the horse. For the time being, since we're not going to be using it. Or because it's just crap that I'll be selling. Go! Get rid of those. And I'm going to put <clears throat> all of our alchemical ingredients on here as well, because we're not using any making potions in the middle of things. Also the book. There we go. Should we do us? Now, and let's see what's up. Because I'm paranoid, and I'm fairly certain we're gonna get jumped at some point. Take those, both the fortify marksmanship. Not that Elia really needs to fortify her marksmanship, I mean, it's what we're best at. There is someone banging on a forge near here. I saw up here. Somewhere further up, it's like, is where our forge banging is coming from. Thank you for getting the fuck out of the way, Janessa. I hate it when they do that. I may have mentioned this a time or twelve. I'll take those. And unlock this damned thing. Ball creep boots, potions, 
And some septum. Decent haul, I suppose. Quick save. And let's see what is up. Found an orphan guard. Who I alerted. Great. Well done, spotty shooting. It's little things like this that make me glad I brought Janassa along for the ride. Yeah, she does a damn good job keeping that. Uh, in my back from having a sword thrust into it. I'll leave the Warhammer because it's fucking heavy as shit. But we're going to look around a little before we head on. Take those. Yeah, I probably could have taken those guys on my own, but would have been a little more of the injured variety after the fact. Bosmer reinforced helmet. It is Bosmer gear, so we're going to hang on to it for the time being. At the very least, so we can see if it's worth any, or if we want to keep it. Take that mead and that apple. And that leg of goat roast. And another walk. Up down the those potions. We're down to four lockpicks. Going to need to replace to replenish my supply of picks. This is not going to be especially fun. Stone quarry. Well, if we ever need stone, we can come here. But yes, here we are. With a mind out and a bandit thief. And random bandit wondering. Oh. I have four cow come here. I'll pick up a pickaxe for now. We're going to pitch it in a bit. Fuck. I decided to start mining. I'm going to dragons your vitality all that jazz and we history well here we are again at my last save so yeah, I did actually decide to reload that save, rather than let things go the way they would have, with me having lost up fucking all of my gear. Uh, 
thanks to whatever that death uh, death alternative or whatever mod I'm using is. I did decide to do that. And actually, I think I'm going to remove death alternative just because it adds some difficulty in ways that I really don't enjoy. Forced to deal with. So, I'm going to get rid of that for our next recording. Oh, we well in the asshole. And how the fuck did he take an orcish arrow with no damage to him? Excellent job, though. Fine key. I will take that armor, the arrows, bunch of gold. Warhammer of Burning. That's it for this mine, it appears. Glass Longbow. Ho oh ho! I think I've just found my new toy. Broad sort of sapping? I'm seriously considering switching to that. And I'm probably not having aspiring heroes trying well, to murder your ass you was a nice benefit as well. You wish. It is. You. Carry those for me. Let's go. I wonder how many poor souls have lost their. I'll take that book. Eyes were police tunnel. Who knows? I don't really like to think about it, honestly. Oh fuck! Get out the steel arrows. For the free or calcum ore. The fewer of these mines we venture into, the happier I'll be. Well, too bad for you, Janassa. We're going to be venturing into more than a few of them. Knowing my luck. Also, I have a pickaxe to grab because before we take off. So after and I give you some you stuff. Hmm? So this my inventory if that is what you run wish. I am going to do some more mining Leave but uh, I think I'm going to cut that out because it's going to be a, be a bit of boring crap that probably no one cares about so I will see you once I'm done mining the shit out of this Orichalcum mine. Okay? Alright then. See you then. Well, I finished mining out of Orichalcum in there now. So, I think it's time that we got going. And I'm placing the Orcish longbow with a glass one. Let us 
see how she looks. Quite lovely, actually. Which is another reason I need to get into being able to forge weapons again. So that I can actually start making myself some arrows from my own materials, rather than paying people for arrows. Because merchants tend to rip you off when it comes to things like arrows. Not that I blame them. They're trying to make a profit, after all. Why wouldn't they rip you off? Let's... I could go into this tower, and I think I'll try it if I have the key, but I'm going to save. And in fact, I do not have the key. The key I got from that bandit leader in the mine is not the one I need for this place. Unsurprisingly, because that would be just way, way too easy. But now, I'm going to be heading for home. And I'm not actually going to be recording the not actually going to have the bulk of this journey be in my actual episode, even though I will be recording it. It's just sort of going to be cut up into a little travel monologue. And a little travel section. As in you'll see the horse going along in one place for a little bit. Then I'll be in completely another. Get away from that thing, I don't feel like picking any fights. Good, the companions are keeping up. But yeah, I'm not going to show the entire journey, just because it makes lots simpler, I feel like playing around with editing a little, and the fact that the whole journey is boring as shit, because I haven't bothered to record any of me reading a book or anything, which would have made it a lot more interesting. So I'm just going to do it this way. So I will shut up now, and you can hear me again when we're in Valkyrie. And here we are, the entrance to Valkyrie. Welcome back to the town of the most annoying, self-righteous prick of a Jarl I have ever had the displeasure to meet, everyone. Then again, we've met precisely two of them, so maybe we'll meet one who's more of an asshole in the future. Anything's possible, right? Then again, to edge out this guy as far as being an asshole goes, They'd have to be pretty damn good at it, or bad at it, depending on your point of view. But still, we have to talk to this guy now. Not looking forward to that in the slightest. Hello, Jarl Jackass. I did your cleanup work for you. Good to see you. Finally, someone useful is around. Teach them to stop paying me. Here, you deserve a reward for your service. You know what? 750 I like you. gold. You're not afraid eh? to get your hands dirty. I hereby grant you permission to purchase property in Falkreath Hold. Talk to my steward if you're interested. Uh anything else you might need? I mean, did one job, why not do a few more? There is room in my court for a new fame. It's an honorary title mainly, but there are a few perks someone like you could make use of. However, I could only grant the title to someone who is known throughout my hold. You help my people, and I'll make you my fame. All right, I can do that. Your way, then. You can never rest. Come and see me again sometime. I might have some use for you. Standard fifty-eight, presumably because gold actually weighs something. And we're going to go looking for the steward. I want to see how much this house costs. Not necessarily going to buy it, but I want to look in. I'm the steward here. I serve under Jarl Sidgir and Jarl Dengir before him. Okay, I'm looking to buy a house. 
There's no house available, but I could sell you a fine piece of land where you could build your own house. Interesting. I'll have to think about that. As you wish. Five thousand gold per way. That's a bit out of my price range, and I don't want to blow all my money on a house. Or on some land to put a house in, rather. And what might you need, hmm? If that is what you wish. Yeah, I need to trade some stuff with you. Apparently all this gold is weighing us down a bit. That's weird. Have the magical power to walk upstairs by walking into them, it seems. Sidgear can sometimes act too quickly, but he does listen to Helbert and I. That's nice. In any case, I'm looking for work right now. Do you have any leads? The Jarl has put out a bounty on some bandits. Here, take a look at this decree for details. <sighs> Ember shard. So it looks like our old mine in Ember shard, the one that I cleared prior to the start of this let's play, has become populated again. We'll have to do something about that. In any case, right now it's time for us to sell a bunch of our loot. I think. For the room and board. But maybe it's you best see a hound on the road. What? There's one out on the road. I can't afford to chase him down, but I could use a fierce, loyal beast to keep me company. A dog, eh? If you were willing to retrieve him for me, I'd give you some fresh meat to attract him out on the road. Sure, I can do that. Good. There's some gold in it for you if you succeed. Here's the meat. Check the road just outside the town. Steel's good, but loyalty's better. I'm loyal to Den Gear first, and the Empire second. Mm hmm. Well, but I have some things helmets. to sell you. Pretty much anything to suit your needs. Let's see here. Orcish longbow, you can have that. This warhammer as well. Yep, I'm keeping the broad sort of sapping. But you can have the generic broadsword. I'll keep the enchanted one. And all of this heavy armor that I picked up recently. And one of my two suits of ranger armor. Well, the Bosma reinforced helmet. You can have all of them. I'll take the lock pick. See me at my forge if you need arms or armor. Ace, uh, you got anything on you? The answer, it seems, is no, but I'm surprised. Yes, so long. I'm apparently not using the dog as a pack animal right now. If that is what you wish. Yeah, it is. I need to take some of your stuff off you so I can sell it. Great swords aren't your thing, so... I'll keep that. I will... We'll have all of this to sell. Let's go. Treasure Hunter Achievement. I don't actually know what Only that does. Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage? Looking to sell some of the excess of crap I have, actually. I have an Orcish Greatsword. You're giving me shit pricing for it, but I don't really care. I need to get rid of that shit. Five gold for a single piece of orc 
I have no interest in making heavy armor, so this particular type of ore is worthless. Of all 29, for 145 gold. Not bad, 5,500. Good steel's worth every supplement. Remember that. Now, who is this lady? Oh, hello there. What can I do for you? Blades, gauntlets, I can forge anything you need. Okay. You look a little young to be a blacksmith, actually. I'm Lord's apprentice, although I've been his for less than a season. Before that, I was with Adriana Benici in Whiterun, and before that, Baron in Solitude. Why all the different stops? Blacksmith Tour of Skyrim or something? I'm on a sort of pilgrimage. When I'm finished, my family expects me to return to Cyrodiil and take over the forge. My name's Isabel. Close well, enough, I guess. Pleased to meet you. Yeah. Nice to meet you, but what would you say is your expertise, or do you not have one? It depends. I've been taught that emotions are a powerful part of smithing. When I craft a shield, I think of a soldier's child praying for a safe return. For a sword, I envision a man getting revenge for a brother's death. When I imagine a soldier marching out to battle, or a hero vanquishing a great evil, that's when my hammer feels most inspired. Just to know that I was a part of that, that it was my steel, it just takes your breath away thinking about it. You must be something. Wow. Very interesting. Yes, thank you, Isabel. And Ace, get the hell out of my way. You always do this, damn it. Stop blocking my me off like that. Uh, hey, lot. I think your dog is right over there. Steel's good, but loyalty's better. I'm loyal to Dengir first, and the Empire second. But I can't tell him that, apparently. <laughs> okay. Dead man's drink. It's curious. Okay, so we're in here. As I was saying, Dead Man's Drink is something of a suspicious name for an inn. But it's the only one in town, and I think we need to rent a room. Welcome to Dead Man's Drink. But first, you got any news or rumors around? Here, take a look at this. Warning to travelers, here, eh? Take a look at this. At some point, we should hire Tech Laon here. Boss Mother Cabin. And yes, I would like to rent a room for the night. Thank you. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. A hundred gold. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Yes. By the gods, it's true, isn't it? A Get out of the way! How could mere men bring down such a beast? Okay, where is my room again? Oh, there once was a hero named Ragnar the Red who came riding to White Run from Ah, here we are. Keep your belly full and your shoulders strong. This each told of both battles and gold he had made. Ugh. <sighs> Pathfinding in this game is a lot of nightmares sometimes. And it really does get on my nerves. When crap like this happens. Yeah, I wish that would just not happen. Aldur, mother of roses, goddess of I have a bathtub back there. there nice. You get a little cleaner for the time being. 
I'm sure Elia will appreciate At some point the option. Really Who are you then? You want something from me? No idea. Huh? Don't get too far ahead. I can't be helped. <laughs> Don't do that. Okay, Janessa. You need. Hmm? Whistle, whistle, or a whistle? Huh? I could improve if you'd give me some tips, you know. Not my problem. You travel with me. It sure is your problem. Don't do that. What can I do for you? I can whistle at you. Huh? Gold solves most problems, doesn't it? Okay, 183 gold. The coin always greases the wheels. Goddamn ripoff, it's but okay. Game. Note to Whistler. That's it. Oh, you motherfucker. There's someone there. Someone there. Oh, you motherfucker. I just wasted 183 gold. It's a duel you seek, strangers, and I suggest you leave. A duel? I'm sorry, what? I of the pain, or free you from your wretched existence. At least, not today. <sighs> All right. I have no desire to get involved in a scuttle with the city guards just because I, de um, I decided to take out my feelings on the Thalmor on the one that happens to be around here. So I'll avoid that. Uh, uh, so I'll avoid that for now. God, what is it with you people and pushing me like that? Make it quick. Don't do that. Strangers like huh? <laughs> you listened. I see it. I see that. I can't believe we let provincials like you wander Skyrim. Yeah, you know what? Fuck you. Whatever you say. Hey, you're a racist asshole, so I don't feel bad about whistling at you. What do you need? No need to get rough. <laughs> yeah, I'm just randomly going around whistling at everyone, basically because I feel like it. I don't like it here. There's too many bugs. <laughs> Taking back Nordland. Falkreath is our home, a place where we have good jobs under a good yarl. Until the war comes to us, we stay put. That's right. It's the brother with the common well, sense. Unlike uh, my brother. I have no dislike of strangers. I like you. I lots of them while I was a Stormcloak. Huh? You being with Jarl, I am a racist against everyone who isn't a Nord. It would seem so. Steal anything from my shop and you'll regret it. There once was a hero named Ragnarok. I should get what do you need? I need you to look at me while I'm talking to you. Huh? Also that. Nah, I don't think so. Screw you. It's pretty good by my standards. All I need. Welcome to Dead Man's Drink. Now I think it's high time that you like Are you alright? Do I need to go and get a doctor? 
That's a question I have asked myself for weeks now. Am I all right? Will she be all right? Was it wrong to come here? Why? What's wrong? <sighs> I'm sick. I mean, it would be fine if it was just a cough, but... Well, my body hurts so much I can barely walk. And <laughs> those are the good days. Have you considered being the priestess in White Run? I mean, she seems pretty damn good at her job. I've already tried. I'd heard that Dan of Your Spring was the most powerful healer in all of Skyrim, but she couldn't help me. Oh dear. I know now it's my destiny to die. That's why Archaea guided us here. Yeah. Elias' opinion on religion, I've discussed this in the past, so I'll bring it up again, is basically along the lines of, maybe gods exist, maybe they don't, but if they do, they're probably assholes. But we're not going to come out and say that, because that would be kind of impolite. Can't be sure it's the God's will. Played it to the very end. Oh, I know. My faith wasn't always as strong as it is now. In fact, I almost gave up on the divine. Maybe ultimate. you should. They're clearly assholes. They let some happen like this. And we don't really care that she questioned her faith. Like I said, Elias. Opinions on religion are not false positive. But is that little girl who I've seen running around here your daughter? Henrietta, my baby girl. Bright, talented, and just enough of her father's courage to be brave without being famous. She complains a lot too, but I forgive her. Yeah, she must get that from you. In which part? The bright and talented part, of course. And here I thought you were going to say the complaining part. Not that you'd be wrong, but it'd be sort of mean to say. What happened to her father, anyways? And we are kind of poking into personal My business at this point, I have to say. She reminds me so much of him. If she ever asked me what he was like, I would have told her to just look in the mirror. Hey. He was a gallant man, and my best friend. Some would say we knew each other better than we knew ourselves. Uh, hello? Uh, I hate it when people do that. An alchemist told him about a magical plant that grows only in the damp forests of Aelian. As a base agent, it could make a potion strong enough to cure any disease. Whether he found it or not, he promised to come back in a month's time for Henrietta's birthday. Yeah. He never did. Uh. It was a foolish thing. A romantic thing, but the two are often one and the same. What did he think would happen to Henrietta if he never came back? If not for the guidance of the Divines, I shudder to think of the consequences. Are you staying in Falkreath? It doesn't seem like the best of homes, if you don't mind me staying. Yes, I plan to stay here with my daughter until our cave is leave. I've already arranged for a plot of land, away from the trees, for the stone for the sea. That's somewhat fatalistic, I have to say. Thank you. It's funny, when they told me about the Grand Cemetery at Falkreath, I was so worried it might be too large. I feared Henrietta wouldn't be able to find my headstone. If I only got here, I was relieved. The graveyard is so cozy, and the priest is a kind man. You all sound like you're ready to die, and that's a little bit creepy, I have to say. I am. <clears throat> I was afraid to die before, not knowing what would become of my daughter. I thought she would end up lost and alone, a child few people noticed and nobody wanted. Now my heart is filled with more trivial concerns, and I often forget how lucky I am to have her. What sort of concerns? I'd be glad to help you with that. 
I am worried she'll forget me. She's just a child. The memory she has now will soon be replaced. I know when she's older, she'll remember Indara as her real mother. It's wrong to think so, but it almost makes me jealous. I just want to be a part of her life, even when I'm gone. This is well, these last few days, I've tried something. to tell her all the little things. The stuff she won't understand until she's older. How to brush her hair. How to tell when a man lies. The perfect recipe uh, for apple cabbage soup. The important things in life, then. If I showed her all the little things. The big things would speak for themselves. She wouldn't have to wonder how much I loved her. Yet, when I talk to her now, all my words float by like... Like dandelion clocks on the wind. Well, you could write her a letter to her future self, I guess, and just have someone give it to her when she's older. By the divines. Why didn't I think of that? That's a wonderful idea. Thank you, stranger. I'm glad I could help. I think Pernil has a quill and paper he keeps for his journal. I'm going to get started right away. And if you don't mind, I'd like to ask you a small favor. I know she'll be in good hands with Indara and Mathis, but if you could look in on her from time to time, make sure everything's all right, I'd appreciate it. Not a problem. I'd be glad to. Truly, the divines must have sent you to answer my prayers. Thank you again so much. Well, that was a lovely little conversation, and honestly, I, right now, Elia probably feels like we did some good. Ace, stop opening my door. Uh, bloody dog. There, anyways, as I was saying... Well, it feels good about that little conversation. We did a little good deed, and that feels nice. But now, before I go to bed, we're going to stop and read this little book here. Nords Arise by Anonymous. Nords Arise. Throw off the shackles of imperial oppression. Do not bow to the yoke of a false emperor. Be true to your blood, to your homeland. The Empire tells us we cannot worship holy Talos. How can man set aside a god? How can a true Nord of Skyrim cast aside the god that rose from our own heartland? Mighty Tiber Septim himself. <clears throat> Mighty Tiber Septim, himself the first emperor, conqueror of all Tamriel, ascended to godhood to sit at the right hand of Akatosh. Tiber Septim, a true son of Skyrim, born in the land of snow and blood, bred to the honor of our people, is now Talos, god of might and honor. The Empire has no right to tell us we cannot worship him. Our own High King, Torik, betrayed us to the Emperor. He created our god for peace. He agreed to a pact with the Thalmor signed by an Emperor in a foreign land. Are we to be beholden to such a pact? No. A thousand times no. Do not let the lessons of history go unheeded. The Eldmary Dominion and its Thalmor masters made war upon men, just as the Elves made war upon Ysgrimor and our people in ancient times. Shining Sarthal was burned to the ground, reduced to ruin and rubble in their treacherous assault. But Ysgrimor and his sons gathered the 500 companions and made war upon the Elves, casting them out of Skyrim. In the great war fought by our fathers, the elves again betrayed men by attacking us unprovoked. The Dominion and the Thalmor cannot be trusted. Like Ysgrimor, Ulfric Stormcloak is a true hero of Skyrim. His name will ring in Sovngarde for generations to come. 
Only he had the courage to single out King Torik and challenge him to trial by arms. Ulfric threw him a gift from Talos himself, struck down this traitorous ruler, and by his death we are now free of our imperial shackles and the Thalmor overlords that darken the imperial throne. The Empire has sent its legions to govern us. They have enlisted our own countrymen to their cause. They have set brother against brother, father against son, and have caused Skyrim to battle itself in their name for their cause. Do not let them divide us. Do not let them conquer us. Reject the imperial law that forbids the worship of Talos. Join Ulfric Stormcloak and his cause. Yeah. Stormcloak propaganda at its finest. And bullshit propaganda at that, because Elia has heard enough tales about Ulfric of Stormcloaks to realize they're just a bunch of racist, xenophobic bigots. We want nothing to do with them. So even though we're not going to be joining the Legion, we do support, at least not at this time, because we would rather not get involved in political divisions. We do support the Empire over the Stormcloak. Don't get too far ahead. But I think this is a good place to call close to it. So thank you very much for watching. Let's play Skyrim with Elia, Janassa, and Ace. I hope you'll join me next time when we'll be doing some more exploration of the Falkreath Hold and probably killing some more bandits. So, until next time, I'll see you then, folks. See you then.